Every day I hear a different story. People saying that you no good. Grew up listening to Wham. My mother would play their greatest hits a lot, and Freedom was always my favourite song of theirs. I just love those pop songs that have super upbeat and catchy productions on them, but a really sad and devastating lyric. I live for them. I don't think I realised until I was listening as an adult just how sad and devastating the lyric to this song is. Um, so when I started to work up a version of my own, being the masochist that I am, I decided to strip back all of those catchy hooks and just really double down on the sadness and give it a real country heartbreak feel. And for the last couple of years, the song has been a staple in my live shows. Mainly because it sits so well alongside my own songs. You know, I always try to find the gaps in country music and write songs that say something different or something that hasn't been said before. And bring freedom into the country realm is really interesting because it's quite a niche song about relationships that I can't say I've heard in country music before. Because it's not strictly a cheating song. It, I really hear it as more of a song about not wanting to be in an open relationship anymore you know, wanting to be exclusive with someone and the other person not wanting that, which is always awkward. Um, but yeah, I think the song is unique and that's what makes it capable of taking on an entirely different arrangement in a completely different genre and still being impactful. That's the mark of a great song. Someone says it's things that I changed with this arrangement is the pronoun in the lyric. So the original is sang to a female lover. Girl all I really want is you. But being an openly gay man I would feel a little weird singing that. So I simply changed it to boy all I really want is you. And although it's a subtle change I hope that it helps reinforce the idea that love is love. You know those emotions that heartbreak it's the same whether you're lesbian, gay or straight. Those feelings are the same. You know, George Michael obviously wrote this song in the 80s, a good few years before he came out to the press. So I hope that he would have appreciated it being sung from a gay perspective if he was still with us. And if Andrew Ridgely ever hears his version, I really hope he does too. the decision to actually record this cover I didn't want it to just be a sad acoustic version or a sad piano version because I feel that's all people ever do when they cover a song these days. I really wanted it to go through the Tommy Atkins filter and be laden with fiddle and steel and harmonies and really make it my own. I also decided to bring the key down a bit because if I were to try and sing it in George's original key, then let's just say I would need some tighter pants to hit a lot of those high notes. I love playing this song live. Although the arrangement is quite different to the original, people recognise it from the first line and are singing and swaying along. I absolutely love it. I tend to play this song with just me on the guitar and my fiddle player, and it's become one of those songs I really look forward to in the set. As a performer, it's a different and exciting challenge to take on such a classic song from one of the most iconic bands of all time. And I always want to do it justice because it really is one of my favourite songs ever. So you love her with another, he's making a fool of you. Oh, if you love me, baby, you deny it. But you laugh and tell me I should try it. Tell me I'm a baby that I don't understand. But 
Don't you know that I'll forgive you Just this once, twice, forever Maybe you could drag me to hell